Hello guys, Cooper on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, and as well if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We recently hit 4,400 subscribers, so massively appreciated to everyone that has been subscribing recently. Um, I do, I do appreciate it massively. But in today's video, we've got the match preview for Rotherham United versus Birmingham City this Saturday. 3 o'clock kickoff. Let's get straight into it. So, starting off with Rotherham United. Now, they've had a really bad start to the season, haven't they? Um, they brought in um, Clark Harris from uh, Peterborough United on a free transfer. And um, everyone was like saying that Rotherham, you know, they were doing business early. I mean, the players that they've signed, all of them have been on free transfers, by the way. But yeah, but the players that was they was bringing in, everyone was like, Rotherham are going to be a serious threat this season to our um, promotion chances, but they've had a really, really bad start, haven't they? Really, really poor. I mean, I think they started the season, um, they started the season without even like scoring a goal. So yeah, they went three games, the first three games they didn't even score a goal. They lost um, to Exeter 1-0, then drew 0-0 at home to Bristol Rovers, um, then lost to Wickham 2-0. They beat Huddersfield 2-1, that's their only victory, and after that they had 1-1 draw against Charlton and a 2-2 draw against Burton Albion at home as well. Now, Rotherham United um, sit in mid-table. I mean, if we beat them, we can go 10 points clear of them, and I can't see them overturning a 10-point lead, especially with the team that we've got and uh, the momentum that we're building as well. It's kind of scary, isn't it? Um, but yeah, they've got Clark Harris, who you know has got two goals for them um, this season. Um, followed by Cameron Humphreys, he's, he's also on two goals. Now, Clark Harris is obviously going to be their main threat. Um, he's proven in this league, yes, he's had a slow start to League One. Um, well, or should I say, he's had a slow start this season in League One, but I think he'll, he'll come good for Rotherham um, when the, when the season, as the season goes on. Um, of course, as well, the last time, well, the last two games that we played against Rotherham last season finished nil nil in the Championship. Hopefully, it's not a nil nil this time round. Getting on to Blues, of course, we had that emphatic, emphatic win at home against Wrexham, winning three one last night in an absolute mad game, mad game, completely dominated Wrexham. But yeah, we're looking to win five League One games. In a row, and we're looking to go top of the uh, League One table as well. But Wrexham do play. Um, I can't remember the exact team that they play, but they play a team. They have they've got a favourable game at home. So, if we was to go top, we would have to beat Rotherham by a a high score line. We would have to like smash them three or four or even five nil. But yeah, getting on to the lineup. Of course, there's no Christian Bielik for this game after he picked up a second yellow card in the game last night against Wrexham later on in the game. So yeah, in between the sticks, I would start Ryan Olsen up. To be fair, look, Peacock Farrell. Yeah, I don't like what he, you know for that for, for the goal for the Wrexham goal. I think you know punching it out. Yeah, like that. I don't think I don't pe I don't think Peacock Farrell is good enough to be fair. So I'll have Ryan Olsen up in between the sticks. Ben Davis and um, Clara as the two centre backs, Cochrane as the left back. Now the right back, of course, um, Hickman played there. Tyler um, Gardner Hickman played there. So Ethan Laird was not even on the bench um, yesterday as well. So I would start Taylor Gardner Hickman. Um, I know we've got like a natural right back in Stamstead, but you know what? I thought he'd done all right to be fair in that right back role. And then the two in the middle, Paik and Iwata. You can't drop him, out. you can't drop him, can you? What a game he had last night. And that goal as well. That goal, oh my, what an absolute wildy. No wonder Celtic fans were gutted that he left for us in the summer. And then the forward options, I would have Hansen on the left, Stansfield on the right, William Ford, Williamson in that can roll, and Alfie May up top. So only one or two changes that I would make to the team, one of them being a force one in terms of Bielik being suspended. But yeah, Rotherham, look, look, that Wrexham game, that was the first of like five really, really tricky fixtures for Blues. We've got three points out of the first one, out of the first um, run of hard games. Rotherham away, look, everyone was saying at the start of the season that they'll be title contenders, but obviously it's not played out that way. They beat, they did beat Huddersfield 2-1 at home, so Rotherham are a threat, um, and... I think I do think Blues will get the job done there. We look like I said, we're looking to win five in a row. We haven't um, dropped points in any of our 
away games this season. My score prediction for this game, I think it'll be Rotherham 1. I think we'll concede. I, I love us to get a clean sheet and win the game, but I think it'll be Rotherham 1, Birmingham City 2. I think this will be a tight, tight encounter. I can't see Blues like completely battering them. Well, in terms of like ball possession, in terms of controlling the game maybe, but like in terms of scoreline, I think it'll be a tight, tight game. 2-1 Blues I'm going for. And if you want the goal scorers, I'll go for Jay Stansfield to score and um, Alfie May. Stansfield and May. Yeah, 2-1 Blues and I think... Hopefully, well, hopefully wreck some drop points and we can go top of the uh, League One table as well. But yeah, let me know if you're going to comment down below, guys. Anyway, it's been Keep Watch on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel to see if you could have watched likes. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. Let me know if you're going to comment down below, like I said. And as always, keep right on.